Hi everyone, welcome to the third installment of Lovely Living's Photoshop tutorials for 8x8 collages. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to um, insert your photos into these really cute little circles and also I'm going to show you how to change the colours of these coloured spots to match your theme. What we need to do first is we need to open up all of our images into separate tabs in Photoshop and how you do that is you go into the folder where you've put your images. My images are kept um, in the Photoshop tutorial folder on my desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to select we need uh, we need four images in total so we're going to select four images and how we do that is we press and hold command or control for a PC and we're going to click on that very first one hold command and we're going to select the other images that we need. So we need four in total and we're going to right click and we're going to click open with Photoshop and that's going to open them all in a separate tab in Photoshop. We're going to go back to our collage sheet and what we're going to do is we're going to insert these images into the photos. Uh, sorry, insert the photos into these circles. We're going to, I will start with this circle just here that is highlighted. And what we need to do is we need to create a clipping mask. And I have covered this in the previous two, two tutorials, but I will do it again step by step for those that don't know how to do it. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that that shape is selected. And we're going to go across to our very first image and we're going to Click on the image and hold it with our mouse. We're going to drag that image up to the collage and we're going to drop it down on top. And as you can see, that image is sitting on top of that circle. And what we want to do is we want to put that image be inside that circle. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to come over to that layer. I'm going to rename that layer because I like to rename everything. And we're going to call that layer Max and press Enter. And then we're going to create a clipping mask so that that layer, that image will sit inside that circled frame. And if you actually watch the image while I'm doing it, you'll actually see it um, slip behind that frame. So we're going to right click on the max layer and we're going to click create clipping mask. And there it goes, it pops behind that frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down our shift key and we're going to pull on the corner of the image holding the shift key and expand that image out until that image fills that frame. And just reposition. And to commit that change, we're going to click enter. And there you can see that image is nice in that circle. We're going to do the same for the other circles. So what we wanna do is I want to do this circle up here in the corner so I'm going to click on this shape too. And you can see the position of the circles by having a look at where they are positioned in this gray box. You can see that this circle up here is positioned in the top right, this one in the bottom right, and you can see this one is over the left side. So that will show you where they are positioned on the canvas. So we're going to grab another image. We're going to do the same. We're going to click and hold with our mouse. We're going to drag up to the collage tab and we're going to drop it down on top of that circle. Again we're going to make a clipping mask but first we need to rename that layer and I'm going to call that max2. Naming it all just makes it easier if you want to go back and change a layer. You don't have to search through and find which image it is. Um, as long as you name them something specific, you'll always remember what image it is and it'll make it easier to make edits and adjustments later on. So we're going to create a clipping mask again and we're going to right click. We're going to click create clipping mask. And there we go. It slips behind that frame. And again, we're going to stretch this image out and we're going to hold the shift key and the shift key just makes sure that everything stays in proportion and we're going to drag it out. Reposition it a little bit and drag it out. Always making sure that there's a tiny little bit of overlap so that there's no gray coming through in the back, that it's all completely your image. 
and to commit that change we're just going to hit enter and then you can move that around to wherever you'd like inside that frame you can make it um, more zoomed in if you like if you would like to zoom right in you can zoom right in um, it's really up to you just as long as that you've got enough um, image on either side of that frame so that you can't see any of the gray coming through at the back gives it a nice clean edge and we're going to do the big shape now so this is shape one down the bottom and we are going to uh, grab another image let me just find the one I want to use and we're going to move it back over to the collage tab and we're going to create a, we're going to change the name first this is Cooper and Mum and we're going to create a clipping mask so right click create clipping mask and then we're going to drag the image out holding down our shift key and to commit that change we're going to hit enter and just position it wherever you would like it to be and we're going to do the final image down the bottom here and we're just going to find one that we want to use we're going to use this one so again holding down on the image dragging it to that top that very first tab and dropping it down now I forgot to select that last circle so I'm going to show you how to move layers in between so what you want to do is you want to click on your layer and hold it with your mouse and drag it and sit it on top of that circle just there so it doesn't matter if you don't select the circle beforehand you can just drag layers and um, place them wherever you would like so we're going to rename that and we're going to call it Cooper and Dad and what we're going to do again is create a clipping mask and that's going to pop that right inside that circle and then we're going to hold down our shift key and drag the image out and to commit that change press enter and then you have all of your um, images in those frames nicely and what I'm going to show you now is how you can actually change those spots to be whatever color you want them to be so what we're going to do is we're going to select a spot and I'll pick a nice big one and we're going to change this pink spot here to be a different color and it's really really simple to do all you do is you come over to this spot here um, where you've selected you double click on the color palette and then through the color palette you can change that color to be whatever you like um, by selecting a color if you would like to pick a color that's in your photo you will see that when you move off this color picker you will find your little eyedropper and that will take a selection of color from the image so what you can do is you can just take a little pink there and that will show you what it was before and this will show you the new color if you don't want to change it to the new color then all you have to do is click cancel but if you'd like to commit that change click OK and that will change that pink to be the same pink from your photo and you can do that with all of your other circles there if you would like to make the circle bigger what you need to do is you need to hold down the shift key and holding down the shift key just make sure that you always change your image um, in proportion you always want to make sure it's in proportion um, and I will show you why I'm not holding down the shift key and I'm just going to try and drag this out and as you can see there's absolutely no consistency to it I can move it any which way I like and it's going to not be a perfect circle so I'm going to press command Z and that's going to take the image back to where it originally was and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to drag that circle out and that creates a perfect circle so no matter how much I try and drag it up or drag it down it will constantly stay a perfect circle so if I want to make that a little bit bigger I find the size that I like and click enter and then I can move that circle where I want it to be 
and then you can do that for every other color in there you can change the color you can change the size and the same goes for these um, little cut these little cutouts here you just need to go to the shape and again just stretch it out and once you've stretched it out you will notice that there is a little bit of gray there which means you will have to make your image bigger and that concludes the tutorial for uh, this circle collage um, the collage template the PSD file will be available on lovely living and the link will be in the box below thanks